oh. to the naked eye. Okay. Oh. But when you walk with a contractor who explains to you it's going to take $4 million to replace all those HVAC units and all the windows yeah. and all this and all that, I'm like, really? We could just teach in here. I'm like, it's fine. I mean, the hardwood floors are sparkling. Oh. The right there. Are you floors? It's, oh it's, hard, it's hardwood floors. My name is Emily <laughs> Cook-Dwight. I am the founding school leader of KIPP GCP Primary, which is an elementary school in Gaston, North Carolina. So today we are going door to door to recruit students for um, KIPP Durham. Um, we're looking for rising fifth graders um, and we are targeting neighborhoods um, where families are traditionally underserved. So we're hoping to find folks whose children will be the first in their families to go to college. Um, we have around 65 right okay. now. So how many more are you looking to Our get? charter's approved for 90. Okay. So our, our target is 90 students. Um, more than that, we need, a, we need to have a lottery. Okay. And what, what grades are you looking for today? Just fifth. Just so fifth. We, um, we're looking for rising, rising fifth graders, current fourth graders. Anders Campbell. I'm going to be the school leader of Kip Durham. Um, we're going to... Um, I forget the address right now. Uh, 11... 1101 um, East Lawson Street, which has about 400 apartments there. So our goal is to get to every one of those. Wow. Um, that's why we have a group here, and we have some more folks actually joining us shortly, um, so that we can really, you know, get through that. Um, we're spreading the word about a new school opening in the area. Okay. Um, we're going to be down on Holloway Street, an old Holloway Street school. Um, we're a free college prep middle school. Okay. We're currently recruiting students who may be interested in joining us as fifth graders next year. Um, she's actually just now going into preschool. So. She is, okay. Yeah. Well, I also just wanted to let you know we'll be in the neighborhood. So okay. Maybe we'll see you, see you all soon. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Xavier Watson. I mean, yeah, it's all right. I like it because you get to go recruit more students to go to your school, make your nation bigger for the school. Sometimes they'd be like, hey, their own kids be like, I don't want to go to school from eight to five. And then the parents want for them to go. And then they be hyper when you tell them about the trips and all this stuff. I like when we go to school. I mean, I know we go from school to 8 to 5, but it's all right. You ain't got nothing to do during the day. So we go to school. And then at the end of the year, we get to go on field trips. Like we went to Atlanta and we went to an NBA game and an MLB game. So she's taking Spanish now, so that's why I was asking. Okay. Will yeah. you all continue that? Oh, yeah. yeah. And yeah. so. We, we will have more electives that open, so that may be where some of those other courses come up, but not as like, you know, a traditional class class period. Okay. So, okay. Uh, so do you have a card or something? Phone number? Marquesa Keith. Um, she goes to the school across the street, which I do like. School. It's a magnet school, and we're moving, so because we're in the walk zone, she can automatically go, but once I move, I applied for the lottery and she didn't get accepted, so she won't be able to go back there next year. Um, I think that it's great that they are preparing the students at an early age for college. We were just talking about her going to college um, before you all knocked on the door. So, so many young people fall by the wayside by the time they get to high school, dropouts. So I think that it's great that they're preparing them for a future.